hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i will be showing you how to migrate a website from another host to hostinger so this is the website that we are going to migrate now before we migrate the website we want to check where the website is registered in so first go to this website the link is in the video description now paste the name of your website here and then click on lookup now you'll be able to see the name of the website and some of the details now you'll be able to see that the name servers point at hostgator.com so we are going to migrate from hostgator to hostinger to get domain and hosting from hostinger below this video click on the first link now you're going to land on this particular page if you scroll down you can see the three plans available you can choose any based on your budget but before you do that let me highlight some of the features we'll be getting now we have three plans premium business and cloud startup now we are going to choose the most popular which is the business plan and you can see we are getting it at 14 dollars but it's now at four dollars we have around two months that are free now if we scroll down we are going to see that we have an increased um, performance by five times we can host around 100 websites that means that today you are creating a blog tomorrow you are creating an online shop the more websites you are creating you can create up to around 100 websites we have 200 gb nvme storage this is not your local HDD or STD storage. It's a very powerful and one of the latest storage technology. Now we have daily backups. We have unlimited free SSL. Now an SSL is the padlock that you see on a website like this. So every website should be having this. If it doesn't have this, then it, it will show that the connection is not secure and it will display it in red. So people will not be able to visit your website. Most of the hosting providers sell that. And you can see that we are getting here at free. We have unlimited bandwidth. We have free email. Now we also have a free domain. So we are getting hosting and a free domain for a whole year. We are also getting a free CDN and a lot of goodies that will be coming uh, with the managed wordpress now we have so many features here but those are some of the highlights that i thought you should know now click on add to cart now again you will be taken now here where you can choose the plan that you want we have a one year plan here we have a two year plan here and a four year plan please don't go with one month because it will be very expensive unless you just want to test it so go with a plan a higher plan for maybe 24 months or 48 months as you can see you are getting this is the 14 dollar that you are supposed to be paying but you're getting it at four dollars or let's call it just five dollars and when you renew you're going to get it at 13 dollars here you can see here so if you go for a plan for two years you're going to get it at the same five dollars but you're going to renew it at ten dollars so if you go for this plan which is selected by default you're going to get the two months free then you're going to get it for four years and you're going to get it to the least amount which is four dollars and you're also going to renew your plan at a very affordable rate which is 8.99 which is around nine dollars so now based also on your budget you can select any of the plans I will select this one now scroll down you'll be uh, you'll be able now to check out so this hosting company supports so many different types of checkout you can pay with paypal google pay alipay and this other one i'm not sure about it then you can also use your card here so your credit card so i'm going to use my credit card and now you can be able to see on your billing here that you are around you are going to pay around 671 dollars now you are paying at 
191.52 dollars you have two extra months you have free domain and you have who is privacy protection and you don't have a setup fee so you're going to now fill these details to pay you're going to add your card details right here then i'm going to click on submit secure payment so after paying you're going to be redirected to your control panel okay so you will be redirected to your hosting C panel if not just click on the h here and you will be brought home now you'll see something like this so you're going to click on websites then you can see these are the websites that i have migrated i have migrated from different hosting and i have also migrated one from cloudflare the process is different so if you have cloudflare i'll create another tutorial so please subscribe so that you can see the notification when i publish that one now click on add website then click on all options now you'll be asked the type of website that you want to migrate so depending on the website you can click on you can choose from these options i'm going to select on business then i'm going to click on migrate website then i want to transfer the website so you are going to be asked for your details now go to your wordpress website and collect these details the wordpress admin the username and the password so go back to your wordpress website and before you do anything first create a backup of your wordpress website So once you have backed up your website, please download your website to your desktop. So you can click here and download your website to your desktop. It's always good to back up your website and have your website somewhere else. In case of anything happening, you will have your website back. So you have your website here. So it's downloading. And if you don't know how to back up your website, you can check in the video in the description below i'll be sure to leave a video to show you how now after you have backed up your website now copy the website logging details now come here and co copy and paste it here then your wordpress username paste it there paste it there again now confirm that you have done the right thing and now submit the request now next you're going to select that you have an existing domain so select domain then you're going to type your domain here without the ww so you're going to omit this part like that then you're going to click on continue so you'll be able to see where your website is hosted at from this name servers here so we are going to click on continue and now we are going to click on manage site so we are going to go back to our manage site so you can see that this is now your website here and now we want to see all the details about your website you want to click on see details down here and now we can see we have our name servers that are pointing to hostgator here your previous host here now we want to change this we want to change this from hostgator to now what they are providing us so we are going to copy the name servers provided by hostinger then log in to your old host that is hostgator now go to your domains so 
now depending on the host that you you had the process should be almost the same so go to domains now look for the website that you want to change the domain now i want this particular one so go to settings now again this might be different according to the hosting that you are using so for me i'll go to advanced tools then i can be able to change the name servers so the name servers are pointing to host gator you can see here so we want them to point at hosting so manage and we are going to change this and then we are going to also delete this we are going to copy the second name server here we are going to paste it here so after we are done then we are going to click on save so basically we have changed our name servers to point at hosting so if i refresh here you can see that the name servers are now pointing at hosting so i'm going to go back to my hosting dashboard websites and you will be able to see that your website has been added so you can see that everything is working well here so if we want to visit our wordpress website we can log in now through the usual way so we're going to open a new tab here the website name then slash wp admin you can put your username and password and hit on login so you can see that you are in your wordpress website now we can now try to confirm whether this has moved to the new hosting so you just copy the name of your website go to the lookup again it's here so we are going just to click on lookup then we are going to scroll down and you can see that we have name servers from hosting so that's how we migrate our website from another host to hosting if this if this tutorial has been helpful please don't forget to leave a like and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe if you want to move from cloudflare or to connect cloudflare to hostinger please comment that below so that i can make a video around that thank you and see you on the next one